Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorin Alliance. I'm Jacob. This is Luke. If you can, like and subscribe. Comment down below. It helps out the channel a lot. Smash that like button. And in today's video, we'll be reacting to the Star Wars Visions trailer reaction. A new anime that Disney Plus will be doing. So what's your thoughts about the uh, Star Wars Visions, Luke? I know absolutely nothing about it, so mm. I th this is going to be a new concept to me. Um, I really have no idea what it's going to be about. I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of spin-off with some characters that cross over from the movies and shows in terms of where it sits in the timeline. No idea. Like, I, I honestly have no idea. So... I don't know, do you want to give me a quick run through of it, or should I let the trailer surprise me? I guess I'll go through it, um, either. Basically, it's different animations and some episodes, and going through different, uh, scenarios, and you get, uh, different anime companies are doing different an animations and different episodes, so there's different, uh, so is it not a continuous story? Is it kind of like what if in a way? Or well, they're doing like what happens in the Return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens, but with different characters and different stories. Okay, I'm gonna have to see the trailer to fully get it. But to me, it sounds a bit like what if. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do you like this animation? It's very different. That one was very like black and white and heavily like. Look very sketched. Mm. Mm, it's very, very anime. Yes, it's very, very Japanese. What more Japanese to what is? It looks really cool though, nine stories. I think if you're really into anime, like anime, I think you'll like it because there'll be, you get to see Star Wars in a different perspective. I don't know if it's my thing, but I, I appreciate that it looks cool. It's a mm. different concept. It, it looks like Dragon Ball Z. Imagine these studios would have been so excited to get the opportunity to animate something as famous as Star Wars. Like, mm. the chances of that happening is you just you wouldn't think it would ever happen. Mm. I accept this responsibility. So do you like the name Star Wars Visions? I guess it's meaning it's the visions that these people have in have in mind. Yeah, I think it's quite cool. It's as I said, I I don't know if it's something I'm gonna be into. I might watch an episode to suss it out. It's mm. very Japanese anime. I think because of that, it's gonna be popular because in Japan, I think it's gonna take off. Mm. Um, I'm not gonna say it's not a clever concept. I guess it's pretty cool to imagine, like getting different people to make their perspective of something that's so iconic I think that's a, it's a really cool idea and I guess it's like seeing a show you like in a different form it'd be like I don't know you know how like sometimes in sitcoms they they pretend to be like they play out as though it was another another type of sitcom like, I guess like a good example would be like um uh what's it called um with the the one division mm. we kind of get to see a show like a marvel thing but done in a different form like they make it look like Malcolm in the middle or make it look like something else which was a cool idea so yeah i guess i can see why there'll be appeal for it 
are you as excited to watch it as watching What If? You or you like the animation style more? I like What If because I guess it's gonna it's consistent with the animation and it gives you and it's a franchise I like more than mm. Star Wars. So I'm, I do like I'm, I'm enjoying that and I think I'm gonna like that more. That to me isn't quite appealing. It looks a bit out there. Like it had like the the furry looking animals and stuff and like the main character in one of the scenarios was like a beast kind of thing and it's like very very much the things that I don't like about anime mm. so that's my deterrent like I'm, I'm guessing you're excited about it yeah. Star Wars and you like anime yeah so what, what are you looking forward about the most oh, I guess different seeing different uh, ideas of what people do like there was one when the uh, female had like so many lightsabers going against the the force user with the green lightsabers to see how that goes yeah I guess I'd be interested to see the difference in the animation styles, to see so many different styles and how it works, but I'm, to say I'm excited it would be incorrect. Uh, but I, I will check it out, I think. Yeah, and the release date is September 20, 22nd, so next next month. Yeah, it's just not too far away. Um, it's just, I guess, another cool project that Disney Plus are doing, and they're guess they're pushing the boundaries of what they can do and i guess they're not trying to reinvent the wheel they're kind of going we're going to take something people already like people mm. like the avengers people like star wars how about we just make these spin-offs how about we make animations and like mm. they're just trying different things and it's cool i yeah. guess there's no, I've not seen that before i guess the only thing that would come to mind that where that's been done before is also a Disney thing. I guess they had the Mighty Ducks movies, but mm. then they made an animation show where they were superheroes and they were like ducks from space. Mm. That's the only thing I can think of, like a show where they've done a spin-off of something and it's been animated and it's been completely different. So again, I guess they're just pushing the boundaries and trying something different. Do you like the name Star Wars Visions? Like I said, I think it's to do with these people's visions of how the stories and animations or assume it's cool yeah I, yeah I think it's a clever a clever thing do you reckon it's gonna get multiple seasons or it's kind of like they're, they're doing it once to see how to show people and then maybe not continue I think it will depend how successful it is we'll see I guess yeah I to my th initial gut thought would be that it's kind of a one-off thing just to show mm. case like the cool things Disney can do but whether or not it's an ongoing thing, probably, I don't know, if they're nine separate stories, like I guess they could have another go and pick, get someone to make nine more different stories. I guess I'd be intrigued to see how much, what they change in, in the Star Wars universe and what happens with the power that these people have. Like, do they, Are they going to completely rewrite things where like, like Darth Vader and other characters never existed? It's mm. just something completely different. That would be cool to see that. Yeah, and as in all animes, we reacted to the English dub, but there's also the Japanese when they just speak Japanese. Yeah, that's kind of interesting to think that they would do that knowing, I guess that's them already assuming that their main target audience are going to be people that speak Japanese. Yeah. Because you, you think you'd make the animation English first and then you'd dub Japanese over it. Yeah. But they know that it's the reverse, that Japanese people are going to watch it and then... English people are going to see the dubbed version. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's kind of different. I just thought it'd be easy to react to the English version because that's what we're used to. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, thank you for helping, Luke. I guess if you watch it, hope hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Let the force be with you. Bye-bye.